Hi, I'm Cliff Alaparty with ImmortalEphemera.com and today we're taking a look at a highly desirable card game from Britain, 1940 Castell Brothers Wizard of Oz card game. Excuse my beat up box, it's the only one I have at this time. Inside the box there are 44 cards in this game set and an instruction booklet which we'll take a look at in the gallery coming up. The gallery will actually feature scans of these specific cards Sometimes you'll see them a little more glossy than these. But basically they are very similar to a standard playing card in size and shape. Playing cards a little bit wider and feel. There's a little bit of flexibility. And we compared it to playing card already, but I've been comparing everything to a quarter, so we'll get that in there so you can see that. Up against Judy and uh, Toto. And we'll also compare it to a standard size 1979 baseball card. In this case, it's Kong, Dave Kingman, with the Cubs, which is where I remember them. Uh, 44 card, uh, all 44 have colorful scenes, just like this one. You're going to see them all. Backs are all the same, so we'll only take a look at a couple of the backs. And here come each of the individual cards. Hope you enjoy seeing them. Judy Garland is Dorothy, and Toto lead off our look at the 1940 Castell Brothers Wizard of Oz game uh, set of game cards. This is a 44 card set issued out of Britain in 1940, and all 44 cards show colorful images from the Wizard of Oz. Here's a look at the backs of one of the cards which they all look the same, they all have the same design, and we'll see another one towards the end of this gallery. You can see at the bottom the MGM logo with, uh, I won't attempt the Latin, but that's art for art's sake, their, their slogan. And the Castell Brothers issued several game sets in Britain around this time. Uh, another one we'll be looking at at one point is the 1939 film fantasy set, which includes, uh, scenes from 11 different films that were MGM United Kingdom releases card number two and this is uh, this game actually has four suits of 11 cards each this is the uh, we got a red number on a white background with these each of the four suits is numbered one through 11 Judy and Toto again is Billy Burke Glinda the Good Witch She's been around, she was around since just after the turn of the century. I was surprised when I started uh, dealing in postcards and I'd see Billy Burke on 1903-1904 cards and realize it was the same Billy Burke. And after this first suit, we'll take a look at the instruction booklet in case you're curious as to how the game's actually played. It's Dorothy with some munchkins. And again... And as I've mentioned before, sets like this, they filled their purpose in that you didn't have a home video copy of the movie to watch. You know, if you didn't want to make the ex excursion out to the theater, especially for kids, you would have your cards and you'd be able to relive the movie by looking through the cards. This, this set, I love the bright, vivid colors. It's really... If you see a near mint uh, or better set of these, the with the glossy finish still intact, they really blow your eyes away. And here comes the eleventh card of this first suit. Three more suits to go. And here's the rule book. It's a little four page paper package. Pack contains forty four cards, basically telling you everything I've said already. Uh, different colored numbers, how they uh, go through the suits. So disregard the background. I guess that was the red suit we just had. There's also a green, blue, and a black. Penalty cards when you're playing a game are all number nine. And they talk about the deal. And it gets a little confusing, I suppose, if I dealt out a hand and played a game against myself, or maybe somebody else. <laughs> maybe it would make a little more sense, but I've read through this several times, and 
I have a feeling I'd probably goof even on this little four page booklet in a game probably intended for children double points scored against the person having the red penalty cards I believe you're looking to get the lowest score and whoever reaches 250 points first is the winner that's so simple they had room left over for some hints for players moving on to our green suit we have uh, Ray Bolger as the Scarecrow light limbed uh, song and dance man and there he is with Dorothy and Toto and you can see that throughout the suit we seem to have a progression of uh, scenes Margaret Hamilton hovering in the background. The Wicked Witch of the West. Uh, she's not in view here. And these are about the size of a standard playing card and the same kind of feel and texture to them. And the Tin Man's come along. Jack Haley. Well, actually, my favorite Jack Haley movie isn't uh, Wizard of Oz. I, I love him in Alexander's Ragtime Band from the year before. It's with uh, Tyrone Power, Alice Faye, Don Amici, a whole bunch of Irving Berlin songs, and one of my favorite highlights in that film is Haley singing uh, Oh, How I Hate to Get Up in the Morning. Dorothy's oiling it up a little with uh, Scarecrow looking on. And we're moving along. It's a great shot. A great pose, I guess I should say. And we move to the next suit. This is the blue cards. Which look to, uh, they probably come right after that previous suit because we look like we're picking up in the right spot. And here's our first appearance of Bert Lars, the Cowardly Lion. Lion and the Tin Man. Yeah, these are some of my favorite poses when you have all four of them together. Dorothy and the uh, three others. Uh-oh, Margaret Hamilton again. And this card does a great job highlighting her very sharp profile. Pretty card. Oh, and there's Frank Morgan. Frank Morgan have been in film since about 1916 and in another gallery in this first series we'll see how he looked in 1916. Older brother Ralph was also in films. Ralph Morgan. It's often the who and the who done it. If you see Ralph Morgan he likely is the killer. Frank Morgan, much cheerier screen uh, persona. That's possibly my favorite pose. I like the shadows going on there. You got them backwards and forwards. And we move on. I guess this is the black suit. And it's our fourth and final suit. Uh oh. <laughs> yep. This is obviously a very popular popularly collected uh, game set. Prices are going to be all over the place if they're in pristine condition. Two or three hundred dollars isn't out of the question. You can find, you know, since it was something targeted the kids though, you can often find a more affordable and a little more beat up condition when they were well played with. Still, you're probably going to have a hard time finding it in any shape under a hundred. Tin Man, Cowardly Lion, Scarecrow. And it was a 1939 Hollywood release, The Wizard of Oz, August 1939. 
but it didn't come to Britain until uh, January 1940, and that's probably around the time this game set was released. There's the wizard again. Oh, and we're getting near the end. I think there's one more card after this. There's another view at the back of the reverse side, if you'd like to see that. Again, they all have the exact same reverse side, so when you're playing the game, you can't see what cards you have. And we finish off here. There's no place like home, it looks to be. And this is the 1940 Castell Brothers Wizard of Oz card game. 44 cards. And I hope you enjoyed the look at those old movie collectibles. If you'd like to see more items like those, there are hundreds of galleries and checklists over at the main site at immortalephemera.com. And you can shop for similar items at store.immortalephemera.com. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one, and look below for direct links to the main site and the store. Thanks very much for watching.